Mr. Brown had his arms up on the steering wheel of the vehicle that he was then located in. And what happened was that there were five, four bullet wounds, excuse me, four bullet wounds to his right arm. These bullet wounds, according to the autopsy, were more or less glancing shots. They were not fatal shots. So he was able to back up as these shots were coming into the vehicle. He was able to back up, turn the vehicle around, spin off across a vacant lot. And at that time, he was hit in the back of the head here. And that is the fatal bullet wound that was described in the death certificate as a penetrating bullet wound to the skull. And that was the cause of death. That was the manner of death by gunshot. So we now know, because we have not been able to get any official documentation concerning this shooting, that this, in fact, was a fatal wound to the back of Mr. Brown's head as he was leaving the site trying to evade being shot at by these particular law enforcement officers who we believe did nothing but a straight out execution by shooting him in the back of his head as he was trying to get away in a moving vehicle, which no doubt is also against police practice to shoot into a moving vehicle to a person who posed no threat whatsoever to the officers then and there on the scene. So in summary, his death was caused by these officers with a bullet wound to the back of his head that caused him to lose control of that vehicle and crash into a tree. And I think once the video actually comes out, we're gonna also find out that there were shots into that vehicle after it crashed into the tree and after he had been hit in the back of the head. The certificate also says that the time of death was within minutes, within minutes after this particular gunshot wound to the back of the head. Hey, thanks for watching our YouTube channel. You should know that you can follow today's top stories and breaking news and catch up on your favorite MSNBC shows all in one place. Download the NBC News app today.